Hello neighbors and friends. So here we are again. As you recall, a couple of months ago, I put out a video showing the homelessness situation uh, and the humanitarian and environmental crisis in the corner of Sweetwater Springs Boulevard and Hamasha Boulevard. And uh, although I did emphasize on all the danger factors, including fire hazard and whatnot, uh, in my video, still it did not get enough attention to be dealt with or to be cleared or um, the homeless people to be taken to shelters and, you know, rescued from that uh, dangerous area. So today, uh, April 30th, 2020, we had a fire there exactly in the same spot that I predicted a fire might happen a couple of months ago. So we had fire. We had tons of police, fire trucks, ambulances, including a fire department helicopter, airdropping tons of water to put out the fire. Now, if you consider all these costs, the cost of the, uh, you know, putting out the fire, the fire trucks, all the police officers, the firemen, and everything that was in there today, which by the way, I made a video of, I, I didn't fly the drone because you can't f fly a drone when there's a police or fire department helicopter activity because of F F FAA regulation, you can't do that. So I made a video with a, from my house using a telephoto zoom, which I'm going to show you followed by this uh, uh, commentary. Uh, however, what I would like to emphasize that if you look at the cost they put out today by uh, eliminating this fire with all the police officers, ambulances and uh, fire trucks and helicopter, it could have provided a house, a permanent condominium for, for, for these homeless people who are suffering there. So instead of us uh, preventing a problem, we uh, when it was like uh, you know, uh, the, the, this was a inevitable. This was a clear and present danger, and still is, by the way. So instead of do, taking precautionary or preventative measures, we go after fixing it when a disaster strikes after the fact. Same way, if you go to uh, 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 YouTube and search uh, uh, about uh, the pandemic that's currently going on, Bill Gates uh, gave a speech, I believe it was 2015 or 2005, it was like nearly a decade ago or something to that nature. Uh, uh, Bill Gates uh, had a speech about this uh, saying that the next world disaster is not going to be uh, from an uh, enemy army, it's going to be from a virus. Nobody did anything about it and here we are today quarantined with a million infected and 60,000 dead. Anyway, so watch the video and we all have to do something about this so this fire doesn't happen again. Right now we still had some humidity in the air so the fire didn't go out of control. Imagine if this fire would have taken place in the driest and driest season in the middle of the summer, we would have been completely in trouble. So here is the video, watch it and comment and say what you think and what's your opinion about a solution for this problem. Okay, looks like there's there's a fire, a whole bunch of police cars and fire trucks exactly at the same spot where I created a video nearly a month ago informing everyone of the great danger of fire in that area. And here we have it. We have a fire.
Oh my God. Like we don't have enough to worry about already because of the coronavirus. So now we have one more factor to worry about when we put our head to bed and sleep. Now, I cannot fly the drone in the scene because helicopters are coming to drop water and it's against FAA regulation for drones to be flown near any emergency situation such as fire or anything else that requires either police helicopter or fire department helicopter activities. So I, I'm only able to show you a video from a distance using a zoom camera from my backyard and this is the maximum zoom uh, nearly 30x zoom to give you a perspective of the location it is the exact same corner of Sweetwater Springs Boulevard this is Sweetwater Springs Boulevard right here that's Sweetwater Springs, and this one is Hamasha Boulevard. And uh, yeah, gives you a perspective of where uh, this fire is located at. Thankfully, uh, it appears to be under control now. I hope no one is hurt, but I do see a couple amb ambulances there. So yeah, I see an ambulance going the wrong way there. Obviously, the emergency vehicles can can practice going the wrong way, which is not a uh, it's it's a norm for them they can do that so this means that street has been closed yeah I do see a police car there blocking the upcoming traffic from uh, the you know family food area family foods area and whatnot So there you go. I hope now they will take it seriously and do something about this. Because my video, although I explained and I cover, covered all the aspects and all the dangers, biological danger, fire danger and everything, humanitarian crisis for the homeless people themselves, still didn't take, go anywhere. So, yeah. Okay, so you saw the video, you saw all the fire trucks, you saw the policemen, the ambulances, all the and all of the above, including the helicopter. See how costly it was to fight the fire and how less expensive it would have been if this would have been prevented earlier. Please comment, tell me what you think.